Hello YouTube, El Plays back once again for some more No Man's Sky and our space adventure and we're just about to enter a brand new planet to see what this exciting world has to offer. It's a kind of strange looking one for the system we're in. We're in an orange system which is usually full of like hot overheated scorched planets but this looked pretty blue and I'm pretty sure that's ocean down there. <laughs> no way. Let's have a land and have a look. This is pretty freaking crazy considering the system we're in. So we're in like an orange scorch system and we found what looks like a pretty cool ocean planet again. Uh, it's pink as hell, which is kind of garish. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm loving it. I mean, it's fabulous, right? It's fabulous, but I'm not sure uh, this pink look is, is great. <laughs> Especially, oh, look at the color clash with my little ship. Uh, oh, gosh, I do not want to put that there. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that kind of looks cool. Uh, it's a bit green and pink. I don't know if that goes. Maybe with the lighting just there, it doesn't look too bad, I guess. Uh, but it, it's a pretty garish planet, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's go check it out anyway. It seems like it could be kind of cool. I really was not expecting to find an ocean planet here of all places. We found, so this is, bearing in mind this is the system, if you haven't been watching the last few. Uh, we found a planet that we called Hell, because it was so scorched and barren and there was like lava looking floor everywhere uh, we found <laughs> we found the moon of hell which was like just as bad but smaller uh, and it had sentinels that were extreme and I think that's the first time I've ever been on a planet with extreme sentinels they attack on site without me doing any mining or anything they just went crazy uh, and now we've gone ahead and found this beautiful place so I mean our luck in this game is pretty unusual, that's for sure. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. We're finding beautiful things, and I'm really happy about that. Uh, we're back, obviously, with our brand new multi tool as well. So we've got, we've now got this beauty. 20 slots. B class could be better class, but it's pretty damn good. Uh, considering we just went from an 11 slot crappy jipper gun as well. Uh, we're doing pretty well right now. We're having a lot of good luck. Uh, we've completed all of the weapon quests as well back at our home base, which is kind of cool. Man, there's a lot of ocean here. Is this planet, like, just ocean? Oh, obviously, I know it's not just ocean because I'm on some land. But you know what I mean. Is it mostly just ocean? <laughs> Before I get someone in the comments saying to me stuff like, how can this be an ocean planet if there's land at all? There has to be land, otherwise I couldn't land my ship, could there? Uh, right, let's have a look. What do we... What does it say about this planet? It says... There are no plants and there are no animals. That is terrible. I, I, that's crazy. An ocean planet that doesn't have any ocean life. That's kind of sad. I'm going to have it obviously like out of tradition. We have to have a little quick look under the ocean. Just to see if there's cool... Ooh. It does, see, oh man, the oceans in this game do look kind of cool, don't they? You can't, you can't say they're not pretty cool. And th to be fair, this looks like a quite bare one. Some of them have like beautiful plants and stuff in them. And fish and, and little sharkies. That's a shame. It's a sad day, guys. We found a beautiful world, what could potentially have been a really cool planet. Uh, but there's no animals and stuff here. So I feel like, we, I mean, I could hang around. There probably, there's, you know, it's probably pretty good for getting resources on here. But we don't really need to at the moment. And I am quite excited to jump to a brand new system. So let's go ahead and do that, um, like, sooner rather than later. We'll have a little... Get me to the ship, will we? Man, our ship is beautiful. I love my ship. I don't I don't think I'll ever want to swap to a different ship. When we get super rich and we've got a freighter and we can have a fleet of ships, sure, I'll buy some others. Uh, but I don't think I'll ever lose my favouritism of this particular ship. It's definitely my favourite ship I've seen in the game. What is it? They're just rocks. They're really oddly positioned rocks. Man, if this planet had... If the purple was... Uh, if the purpley pink colour was grass instead of just rock and there were life here, this would be an incredible planet. Look how much ocean there is. Oh, oh, I guess, I guess it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? It would be rude not to quickly check it out just to see what's there. We're right next to it. Anyway. Oh, is it in the water? If it's in the water, we're not going to bother because it takes forever to get down there. Yeah, yeah, we'll leave it. We'll leave that one. It's probably nothing good. It's probably nothing good. I'm sure it's something we've already, uh, already seen before. Maybe. Um, that's going to eat away at me now, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just so excited to get to the new place, like the new system. All right, let's go. Uh, I don't know. Is there any color systems we haven't seen in a while? I'm not seeing... Oh, anomaly detected. That's where I want to go. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Where's the anomaly? Oh, that's quite far away. Atlas interface. Is this us here? Oh, this is... That's my current location. Yeah, yeah so I want to go to the... Turn around. Hey, yes, I want to go here. Is this the place with the anomaly? How do I know where the anomaly is? 
so this is undiscovered. It has four planets and two moons. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for that. It's on the right way, so we'll head to that. I don't really want to miss any. I don't want to like skip over systems just to try and get to the anomalies and stuff like that. Because uh, like, who not like? It would always bug me that we could have missed the most incredible planet that's ever been created in the game. You know. Um, so I don't really want to skip loads. Unless I'm desperately trying to get somewhere in particular. Like, one day when we're trying to get to the Galactic Hub or something like that, then, of course, we'll be jumping over loads of systems as much as we can to get there. But right now, it just seems like such a waste to miss any systems. Because who knows what we could find there, right? It could be something really, really special. <gasps> green! Did I just say it's been a while since we've seen a green one? That's what I was thinking. I don't know if I said it. Did I say it? That might, like... Man, I, I'm like a... I'm a No Man's Sky psychic. That's, that's what I am. I always... I say what I want and it just appears in front of me. It's beautiful. And of course, we continue our our old our age old tradition of always taking a oh there's a lot that's a huge planet look at this beast our age old tradition of always taking a screenshot as soon as we jump into a brand new system I can't not do it you know we we always do it it's it's, it's what it's nice it's a nice little tradition that we that we have on the channel uh, I want to try and get these this like freighter flight freight what am I trying to say <laughs> this little fleet in the background there we go. That's a pretty cool picture, right? If I could get a bit more of my ship, like, glow stuff in there, that'd be good. Yeah, that's perfect. Right there. That's quite nice. I like this system. This, like, really bright green colour is quite unusual, but I like it. I guess we should probably head straight... Oh, we got a milestone. What do we get? <gasps> 15 warps! Yeah, boom. Man, I feel like that's... Uh, it's still crazy how little we've actually warped when you think about it. We've been playing for quite a while. Uh, it's because I go to every planet, like, I never want to miss them, and I've found some absolute beauties, so I'd, if I, imagine if I hadn't missed any of them, that would have been tragic. I guess we wouldn't have known. Let's go for the big one first, let's do it. Boom! It has aluminium, copper, and heredium. They don't sound like resources that I'd expect to find on a beautiful tropical planet or something like that. Um, so who knows? I, I can't remember ever. I can't, I've, I'm sure I've been to a green system before, maybe. I, I can't ever remember seeing one, though. Is it new? It could be something I've not seen before. Um... Yeah, I mean, maybe. Have I been to a green system? You guys will probably know more than I do. I've definitely been to purple, blue, yellow, orange. I don't remember seeing a green. But that could just be me. I'm a bit of an idiot. <laughs> uh, what have we got? What have we got? Let's go straight ahead and land. I guess we should do a scan just in case there's something right near where we're going to land. Oh, is that... It's ocean! It is ocean! <laughs> Wow, what are the chances? Another ocean planet just after the last one. Hopefully this one has some life on it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and land right here. That's kind of crazy. And there's another question mark right in the sea as well. Oh, come on. Let me land there. Yeah, that's that's right, boy. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got, boys and girls. It's wet. Minimal sentinels. Rich in flora. And there's occasional fauna. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Lots of plant life. And occasional animals. Occasional, the first time I saw like the description of occasional animals, it kind of put me off. I was like, oh, they're not going to see many creatures. But it was one of those planets where I did find some giant creatures. So hopefully, we'll see some beauties today. Where's that damn question mark gone, fool? Ah. Oh, okay. This is cool. There's a, a thingy you get to fix. Let's, uh, that, oh, that was the... Boom. There's a technique to like using your jetpack to uh, fly really effectively. Oh, we found the Eajon <laughs> rainforest. I don't think it counts as a rainforest if it's under the ocean. There's more of a, an ocean forest, a wet forest, Atlantean forest. Not really a rainforest, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Maybe once upon a time. Well, just choked on my own words. <laughs> Maybe once upon a time this planet was like. Oh, <gasps> fishies! Oh, yes! Look at these! Ugh, freaks! Put my torch on them, see if they go crazy. Imagine that. Imagine if, like, so... Whoa! Why is that red? That looks kind of cool. It's like blood red. It's a blood moon from Zelda. How do we... How do we get the... Go away. Why... Why is it red? What is happening? Oh, that is crazy. I've never seen... this. like an... Are we... Oh, is the actual water red, maybe? Are we in an ocean... Oh, God! There's more creatures right there! Are we in an ocean of blood right now? This is kind of cool. Oh, wow. Look at that glow. Oh, this is freaking awesome. I want to see what these other jipperfish are. 
I really want to see a big shark fish. I know there are one. I've seen one. I've seen one, like, unicorn shark thing ages and ages ago. And I think it was the first... I think I called it We Found Ocean Life or something. It was the first time I'd ever seen a sea creature. And I was, like, super, super excited. Let's go see these. But I haven't really seen a big sea creature ever since that day. Hey, let me scan you a little. Oh, these look cool as hell. Oh no, they've got sharp teeth though. What are they? They're skittish herbivores. Okay, they're not going to eat me. That's the main thing we need to worry about. If I saw a giant carnivore down here, that would be terrifying. <laughs> oh, there's more. There's loads of them. Occasional my butt. There's there's uh, fauna everywhere. Oh, there's a cave down there too. Uh, where's the, wait, was there a th Oh, I discovered the thing, didn't I? Okay, cool. We should probably get up get up and breathe before we drown to death. Uh, that would be typical me, wouldn't it? <laughs> like 10 minutes into the episode, drown to death already. Man, it's so white. It's so weird. It's like red under the ocean and then bright green up here. What a crazy contrast. I don't know why that was. I think it's only red in the daytime, maybe. But obviously, yeah, we're at night at the moment. But the photo mode lets us be God and control the time of day. Alright, let's get back to the ship. Back to the ship, boys and girls. Wow. So yeah, apparently there's a technique to this uh, moving through water, and it's something along the lines of this, like down, jet pack up real high, and then drop down, and if you get that right, and you get a rhythm going, apparently you get really quickly going through the water. I have i don't know if I've, I probably haven't mastered it. Uh, I haven't mastered much, to be honest, in life. <laughs> uh, but it does sound pretty cool, so I'm trying to like, I'm trying to apply that technique. <laughs> we'll see if I can actually ever pull it off. Uh, so where do we, where do we want to look? Where's this thing? Is that on this planet? Is that a home? Oh, an abandoned building. Yeah, we should probably check that out. There might be something cool there. Imagine if we find a better multi till now. I'll be so annoyed. <laughs> that would be just my luck, though, wouldn't it? Oh, no. We're low on iron. We are low on iron. Really low. Okay, we're going to... We'll fight. There'll definitely be iron on this planet, for sure, right? So we'll grab some of that. You've got to be kidding me. Six minutes. Get the, get the hell out of here. I'm leaving. I'm never coming back. You've insulted me. That's it. I'm going. No, I'm kidding. We're just going to do our little... Uh, Pulse oh, I don't have much pulse engine left. I might not even make it. If I don't make it, guys, it's been it's been emotional. It's been great already. No, not in the planetary interface. Get me out into space. Into space. Am I right? Oh, hold on. I can do this. Concentrate. This is what we learn at pilot school. Ooh. Oh, whoa, that was too quick. I was not ready for that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we should be able to get there pretty quickly now if I just go straight down. Oh, that was actually pretty good. I normally overshoot that massively and end up having to pause the episode. <laughs> oh, but this time we kind of got it spot on. So, yeah, I mean, that's something to be happy about at least. What do we find in abandoned buildings? I'm trying to remember. Are they the ones with the little poison plants inside them? Is that what we know? Oh, it's under the ocean. Wow, this is a crazy planet. Everything's Is everything going to be under the ocean? If it is, I guess I should go ahead and craft that. Herb. <gasps> oh, there's beautiful trees. No way! That's crazy! This is actually a really cool looking planet, look at it! Let's have a look and see what it looks like in the daytime. Oh, wow! It, it, so it is like a blood red coloured planet, all the rock is like blood red colour. Oh, that's cool, in the daytime it gives the sea like a purple colour. Oh, ho, ho. I love finding beautiful stuff in this game. I just love it. And there's a lot of trees. These are like the the most tree-like looking trees I think we've ever seen in the game. We normally see trees, but they're like kind of weird alien looking trees. These look these look like pretty much regular old trees, right? Our first tree, guys. Let's cut it down. <laughs> uh, I probably need some. I probably am quite low on all my resources, actually, to be fair. I've been, I've been giving a lot of stuff away to my NPC people to do my little quest lines. What have we got? Uh, oh, should we see if we can upgrade any more of our stuff on the multi tool? Let's have a look. Have I got anything else yet that I can actually do? No, I need more resources for all of that. Okay, fine. Uh, oh, is this iron? No, that's detrium. Where's... Man, this is cool. They're like zebra striped trees. That's crazy. I really like this planet. This looks awesome. What are these? Oh, they're just carbon. Just blue, weird blue grass things. Well, we've got plenty of carbon now, so that'll do. Uh, what are these clamshells? Hello? Is there an oyster in there? What? Uh, oh, no pearls, though. Damn. God damn. Oh, plutonium, yes. We'll grab that. Thank you. Oh, there was a bird. Did I see a bird or was there a ship? Or was there just one of these bits of dust flying around? Who knows? 
<gasps> I see a little pineapple head. I see you, buddy. Oh, he's wearing a crown. The crown made of coral. He's a potato with a crown. He's King Potato. Hello. Hail, King Potato. Let me discover you, buddy. How am I getting scanned? I haven't done nothing. Yeah, you back away, boy. Where's that sentinel gone? It's creeping me out. I didn't do it. I don't scan the plutonium like, oh, where's the rest of my plutonium gone? You know what I did, alright? Either, either throw the book at me or get out of here, fool. I'm gonna pop. I'm ready, mate. I'm ready. You wanna go? Oh, <gasps> should we grenade him? Oh, oh! <laughs> Infinite power! Oh no, that was a bad move. Oh dear. Whoops, it easy. <laughs> I didn't think they'd all. I thought if we killed him, he wouldn't be able to alert anyone, so we'd be safe. But apparently, I've just started an all out war. Oh! I'm ready for war, boys and girls. Bring it. Should we try and get level 5 Sentinels after us? Let's do it. Let's go for it. We'll stay. Oh. <laughs> I remember. I actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. So, the tactic for getting 5 star wanted level in the game is this. We have to mine stuff until, well, mine stuff and make them angry, then when they come, I can attack them to, like, get them aggroed against me, but you always have to leave one alive so that he can call in reinforcements. And if you, oh, look at this beautiful forest! Oh, it's like an oasis in the, like, red desert. This is crazy! I'm so impressed by this planet. I, like, it took me a while to realise, but this is a beautiful planet. I didn't I wasn't expecting this, I'll be honest, when I first saw it, I was like, eh, it's not looking great. Uh, but now, oh, oh, that's a good picture as well, with the little leaves overhanging above the top. <gasps> get the get the lens flare. Where is it? There. There. Oh, this is cool. You guys know that I love taking pictures in this game. I don't think I'll ever stop doing that. I definitely am, like, taking way less, though, now in episodes. like, And I'm, I am doing that on purpose to try and, like... Some people probably, well, some people don't like me watching, don't like watching, wow, I can't even, I can't even speak, guys. The beauty is just astounding me. Uh, right, anyway, forget what I was trying to say, it's not important, let's just get the Sentinels. <laughs> Who wants, I guess I should just start grenading stuff. No, that's probably a bad idea, because I'll, I'll end up running out of grenades by the time I need to fight. And then I'll be, the only reason I'm working up the bravery to pick this fight in the first place is because we have grenades so we can get them after us. Uh, so let's mine, 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 mine. Mine, 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 mine. Give it to me, boy. Why aren't they coming after me? I'm mining everything. Come on, boys. I'm cutting down your forests. It's an industrial revolution. I'm making, I'm making space. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up a complex of flats here. Come on, come and protect nature, guys. Wow, these sentinels seem to be jerks. They don't even care. Where are they? Let's go. Oh, here he is. Let's start on him. Boom. Yeah, that's right. That's it. They're coming for me now. I want to stay close to the ship just in case things start going not our way. Uh, oh, I should go and pick this up. How did I miss that? What's wrong with me? Oh, no, I already got it. Ignore me. I should pick this up, though. I did miss that one. How is my life support? Get out of here. Bad timing. I'm trying to start a war here, guys. Where's he gone? Yeah, that's it. Oh, I killed him. I How did he die so easily? <laughs> I just mined him once from like a mile away. Come on. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. Keep rolling, rolling. Get, get. Oh, my inventory is full. What an, what an imbecile. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. What can I get rid of? What can I get rid of? Uh, suspension fluid. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Everything go. Get out of here. Why am I carrying condensium? I was meant to give that to somebody. Oh, gosh. The potatoes are attacking. Whoa, the king potato has summoned his people. What is this? Yeah, reinforcements. Oh, they want to go too, huh? Combat unit, huh? That sounds kind of scary. Oh, I missed. That was bad. That was really bad. Where are they? Oh, gosh. I'm not doing so hot now, huh? That's what I get for thinking I'm a big shot. Popped your fool. Who's next? Who's next? Yeah, you're calling more. You can die. Get wrecked. Boom! I'm going to get his health down low, but not kill him. Just so when they do come, I can pop him straight away. Yeah, bring it. And now I'm going to keep mining. What? What are you going to do about it, boy? I ain't scared. Pew, pew. Come on, fight me. Fight me. I've never done this before, so I don't know if it's going to actually work. But I am quite excited to try and see what happens when you get all of the stars after you. We're probably going to die before I pull that off, guys. Just, just a little, like, warning ahead of time. I might not be able to do this shields down already. I mean, we're not in a good place, right? We're... 
Oh yeah, combat unit deployed. I'm hiding here to try and get my shield to come back, but I don't know. Oh! I'm gonna grenade him. I think that should take care of him. Yeah, that took care of him. Oh yeah, that really took care Oh no, I'm dead! Oh no, I tell you, we are here on Earth to fight around and don't let anybody tell you different. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys, I think that's that's a pretty fitting way to end the episode on that uh, truly deep and philosophical quote there. <laughs> we didn't quite manage to get all of them after us, uh, but we did get one walker, up, one of the uh, dogs after us. Yeah, maybe once I've leveled up a bit more and got some better gear, I will try and go for the five-star approach. But right now, it seems like we are well out of our league on that one. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you just—I hope you enjoyed my attempt at that. Uh, as always, if you are enjoying the series, please do show some support. Uh, drop a like, leave a comment, share with your friends. And of course, if you haven't already, then please do go ahead and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one for some more No Man's Sky and our space adventure. Take care, guys, and peace.